What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age Mythology. The Titans action sporting in the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Hades. His name is Joe. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Ra. His name is Magic. The map is Painted Desert and uh, apparently the second game it had an out of sync issue so I don't think I can cast it. So we're not going to bother with it, but we'll move on to the third game. Hopefully this one uh, goes the way we hope it goes. But uh, Joe did take that first game with some nice Aries three town center play. And we'll see if things uh, any different here in this game. And if Magic can pull something out. Uh, let's check out this this map. This map for, for uh, Egyptian players tends to not be the best even though you think it would be okay because there's back town centers makes it relatively defensive but oftentimes this gold mine spawns in a really bad place and it turns out to be a really bad map for for norse players as well as um egyptian players alike because they struggle really mightily to defend these gold mines in the early stages of the game so we'll see uh we'll see if it becomes an issue for magic or not um I don't feel like it's a bad idea for Magic to 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 like throw up houses here across and then instantly on the Classical Age build another watchtower here just to make sure he doesn't just lose straight away or even not straight away, just a little bit later. Um, but we'll see what Joe's going to do. I imagine Joe's going to check out his opponent's base here. Let's check out the Catascopus. He's going to check the side, see where the food is, make sure that he can push off. And he does notice that this is the entirety of the food. Obviously doesn't know it yet, um, but he's seen his own giraffe here. He sees lion over here, and he has seen his gazelle over here. In actuality, he should be able to realize that this is all of the food for magic. So he gets a really nice spawn in terms of that because he can... Deny all the hunt over here. And in, in in actuality, this town center over here is actually probably the town center that Magic should go for instead of this one. Because, Well, maybe. He's raw, but it's going to be tough to just get this gold mine. And those lines there to be annoying as well. But we'll see how Joe goes and how Magic goes. Already throwing up the houses here. This is some better houses than the last game. Nice and defensive to prevent the uh, Chiron abuse in the early game. Temple coming up for Magic. And while he does have two watchtowers here, there's this big blind spot on these houses, so they can be dashed down, which is why I suggest that potentially a, a, a second watchtower or a, a fifth watchtower probably shouldn't be a bad idea for Magic just to make sure he can, can continue in this game. Um, I, I find a lot of players... How you say? Like, they, a lot of players would prefer to not deal with their map problems and just blame it on the map to say that they lose that way instead of taking the um it's almost like taking it as an odds challenge to win the game by investing in something you otherwise wouldn't normally so investing in an early 200 gold in a watchtower to make sure you don't lose um setting you slightly behind it, it, Instead of losing when you do lose, and we just there's the uh, there's the the magic box. Not much of a magic box here. A little bit, a little bit uh, of a just a standard Egyptian box here in the middle of his base to shifting sands. Those early heroes we see the uh, the villagers on this as well. And Joe actually hasn't spotted where the gold mine is. He knows that it's got to be over this side of the the map, but he doesn't know how bad it is. And the walls are already up for magic, so that's going to be. Uh, very nice for Joe indeed. Um, though we're seeing Joe go for Ares again. And we see the uh, villagers already moving over here onto the giraffe. Uh, and that's going to be a little bit of an issue for Magic to deal with. Um, to defend here. Because Joe's spotted it. He's only got three goat. He does have uh, chicken here as well. So he doesn't necessarily need to go onto these giraffe. He can go for uh, the, the, the the goat, the, the chicken and early farms. Though this... Uh, Town center is slightly in the way. So we'll see what Magic's going to do. He's 
got his villagers already over here, so he can grab this town center up very, very fast. The Catascopus is scouting it out, but with six villagers and the Pharaoh to empower, uh, it should go up very, very quickly. The village rover, he's going to be jabbing away at the Catascopus with the help of the Wadget, and we'll be able to pick that one off, or at least dissuade it from staying here and harassing. So the town center going to be up, no problems here. Cyclops is out, and the Ajax sh and Chiron should be on their way now for, uh, for Joe. Oh, he's forgotten his house. A classic maneuver here. Uh, sacrificing the Catascopus, though, in order to uh, to unlock the Ajax. Not a bad decision there. Village is moving over onto this town center for Joe. Magic's town center is up. And, and this sort of secures this town center. I'd love to see an armory here and then a wall across. Or even armory, barracks, wall. And that's going to make it really hard to prevent this gold mine from being gathered here. And also on the other side as well, potentially a second barracks would be wouldn't be a bad idea here. There's the wall, there's the barracks. Nice play by Magic on the other Cyclops and the Ajax coming in onto this location here. Let's see what he's gonna do. Relics on the map here. We do have the boots of kick, everything, a good relic, and the heart is folly here. Seeing him trying to push through this wall, not the best one to push through in actuality, because there's a watchtower here to defend it, but the Cyclops sort of, and the, and the Ajax sort of don't care about this too badly, so opening this up is going to be, it's going to be good for him. And where's the Chiron? Still no Chiron? Still no Chiron, but you do have to be careful with it against Ra, you don't want to put it in the same spot as your Ajax. And the, uh, the wooden wall just about to fall. And there's the second barracks, there's the wall. Love to see the armory going up fairly soon. And, and not only does it secure the gold mine, it also sort of secures the gazelle as well. Though this uh, this watchtower hasn't been defended just yet. The, uh, the priest is here though to help out with the wadget as well. The Chiron should get picked off by the by the town center if he decides to go after the priest. He will just come back in here and finish these wall these these houses off as well. Let's see what magic's gonna do here with the with the barracks. Is he gonna make any units? No, no units just yet. More like preemptive barracks. Is he going for these? That's ballsy. He has to assume the Joes are not gonna see this through the fog of war. The slingers here. No one to the Ajax. <laughs> That's funny. Oh wait. What? What is this? Magic's gonna... Is, wait, he can afford to build this town center as well. He's going for a third town center, denying this. The Pharaoh is enough to pick off the Cyclops at this stage. Slinger's coming in here. We do see that the, uh, the Cyclops is the first target. The Slingers can take down the Ajax ever so slowly, but he will fall. And then this, the uh, Pharaoh can turn around, snipe that one there. Magic doesn't have the food just yet to get this town center up. We do see stables coming up for Joe. Is this town center going to get up and is it going to be enough? for magic to to claim this game or or not cyclops comes in gonna deny this town center for a little bit but the pharaoh does so much damage now villagers coming in to pre to prevent this but the slingers are here to help push this back and the cyclops here almost goes down cyclops does fall here chiron coming in now is the time to shifting sands this chiron back into his his box over there if he wants to uh it's continue there is hippocon here as well we'll see if that's going to be enough but it looks like the town center is not going up the, the shifting sense does come in but it does not go into the box here for uh, for magic and this is going to cause a little bit of chaos here we do see the armory up and the town center still not up for magic ajax back into the fray here the the slingers can snipe this toxody if they want to nice micro from joe to pull that one back as the pharaoh getting pushed back will get taken down by the ajax and now the villagers here going to be denying this town center but is magic sort of okay with this because this is a lot of uh resource denial by magic as well because there's so many villagers here preventing this town center from going up and only five villagers for magic or six villagers were here for magic so it's almost a good trade for the time being. Now there's a lot of gold in the bank for Magic to throw up farms if he wants to. And then go for Slingers or, or Spearmen or something like that. We see that the uh, the Spearmen are out and that's going to be a big help. But Hades Shades coming in as well here. And it's looking like... You need to. 
Cool magic storing up a forward <laughs> barracks here. I'm not saying, well, magic's a little bit short on food, but he is going to be able to grab the giraffe in the front of this. Not going for the gazelle just yet. Obviously, he wants to get the forward giraffe if he can. The spam and take down the Chiron. Slingers raiding Joe's villages here, and Joe decides in the 9 minute and 33rd second of this game to tap out because he's just not able to defend against this. What a strategy from Magic! Surprise, surprise! Would have thought that this 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 Please match would have been if I knew this match was a nine minute and thirty three second game at the start. I would have thought that Magic would have lost it with this gold mine, but Magic going for this talent center, forcing Joe into a difficult situation here. He's run out, just about to run out of food, and there is sort of no way for Joe to start his 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 um his farm. Never mind, he's got 1,300 food in the bank. I mean, wood in the it bank. He definitely could have started farming here. But the problem is securing this town center in a timely fashion would be very difficult. Magic can just grab his back town center and be three town centers first, which is a difficult situation to be in for a, uh, a Greek player indeed. Anyways, well played by Magic. I don't know what the result of the second game was because it did go out of sync. But um, if you enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.